He is known for his diverse background in mathematics, engineering, and music. He has composed on commissions from prestigious organizations and collaborated with renowned ensembles and soloists. His name is Philippe Capdenat. In the world of music, few names evoke the same level of respect and admiration as Philippe Capdenat. Born in Bordeaux, Capdenat's passion for both mathematics and music was evident from a young age. Alongside his regular schooling, he attended special courses in mathematics and took piano lessons, showcasing his diverse talents from the start. After studying mining engineering at the École Nationale Supérieure de Mines in Saint-Étienne, he continued his musical education by taking classes in piano and composition at the conservatory. Captain Nat's dedication to both fields was unwavering, and he even served in the military in Algeria while pursuing his engineering career. Captain Nat's musical journey took him to Paris, where he worked as an engineer from 1960 to 1967. However, his love for music never waned, and he continued his studies with Max Deutsch at the École Normale. During this time, he became the leader of the Chorale Jericho and the Chamber Orchestra Orchestra de Chamber Philippe Captenat, showcasing his skills as a conductor. His talent was recognized internationally when he toured Denmark in 1967, conducting the Radio Orchestra of Odense. Throughout his career, Captenat collaborated with esteemed musicians and ensembles, leaving an indelible mark on the world of contemporary music. He composed on commissions from prestigious organizations such as Radio France, the French Ministry of Culture, and the Grand Theatre in Tours. His collaborations with renowned conductors and soloists further solidified his reputation as a composer of exceptional talent. Captain Nat's dedication to the field of music extended beyond his compositions. He also shared his knowledge and expertise as a lecturer at the Sorbonne, Lyon University, and Tours University, teaching analysis, composition, harmony, and counterpoint. Captain Nat's contributions to contemporary music were recognized with numerous accolades throughout his career. In 1990, he received a prize for composers from Sesam, followed by a prize from the Academy de Beaux-Arts in 1996. One of his notable works, the opera Un Carmen, garnered critical acclaim. This reimagining of Bizet's Carmen in an Arab Andalusian style, with the setting moved to Morocco and the inclusion of traditional instruments, showcased Captain Att's innovative approach to composition. His opera was performed by the Opera Eclate at the Les Centers Festival in Gap, as well as on a national tour. Philippe Captenat's musical legacy extends beyond his own compositions. As a professor of musical analysis and composition at the École Nationale de Musique et de Danse in Montreal, he nurtured the talents of aspiring musicians, passing down his knowledge and passion to future generations. Additionally, he served as the president of the Association for Contemporary Music Opus Open, further championing the advancement of contemporary music. Philippe Captenat's life and work exemplify the profound impact an individual can have on the world of music. From his early studies in mathematics and piano to his acclaimed compositions and influential teaching career, Captain Att's contributions have left an indelible mark on the field of contemporary music. His dedication, innovation, and unwavering passion continue to inspire musicians and audiences alike, ensuring that his legacy will be remembered for generations to come. Philippe Captain Att, a renowned composer, had a clear goal in mind when it came to his music. He aimed to create compositions that embraced contemporary language while maintaining a sense of clarity and lyricism. Avoiding both demagogy and neo-romanticism, Captain Att crafted a diverse range of musical pieces, spanning across various genres. In his earlier works, Captain Att delved into avant-garde compositions, exploring unconventional techniques and forms. He experimented with aleatoric music, electroacoustics, repetitive music, and serialism, pushing the boundaries of traditional composition. These innovative pieces showcased his willingness to explore new musical territories. However, as time went on, Captain Att's musical style underwent a transformation. He began to gravitate towards a more lyrical approach, allowing his compositions to express emotions and narratives in a captivating manner. This shift in focus led to the creation of remarkable works that resonated with audiences on a deeper level. Among his notable compositions, Captain Att crafted Croce e Delizia for the renowned soprano Mady Mespel. This piece showcased his ability to create music that highlighted the beauty and versatility of the human voice. Additionally, he composed the opera, Sebastian and Martyr, for the tour's opera, showcasing his talent for storytelling through music. Captain Att's musical prowess also extended to larger-scale works. He composed his, Requiem, for the Festival Dar Saker at Dax, delivering a profound and moving tribute to the sacred. Furthermore, he crafted Le Condam à Mort and Un Carmen for the opera Eclate, demonstrating his ability to reimagine classic stories in a fresh and captivating way. Philippe Captenat's compositions showcased his versatility and willingness to embrace new musical directions. 
From avant-garde explorations to lyrical expressions, he left an indelible mark on the world of contemporary classical music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.